Hi all, uh, today is October 9th and uh, we have um, the second part of the Jenkins Inhibitor Summit. So the today's plan is to have a short session of project updates and then maybe take a look at the roadmap together and then have unconference sessions uh, focused on various topics. For example, we have sessions about uh, Jenkins and Tecton integration, uh, open uh, telemetry next steps, etc., etc. Uh, it will be quite a relaxed event, but uh, thanks a lot to everyone uh, for joining. Hopefully we will have uh, very productive uh, technical discussions later today. And for this particular session, I want to keep it really short. So maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and then uh, we can just uh, do unplanned uh, unconference session to take a look at uh, the roadmap stuff. Or maybe we could uh, do live demos earlier. Okay. So what is Jenkins Contributor Summit? It's our soon to be regular event where we discuss Jenkins evolution, uh, major updates. And uh, this time uh, we decided to do it in the Asian and Pacific time zone. So to have a better outreach. And uh, yeah, um, uh, this is the second part. Uh, we had uh, one Contributor Summit on June 25th and before that uh, in February, we experiment with different formats and uh, schedules. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have another summit sometime around FOSDEM, uh, so it will be February, and stay tuned for that. So the idea is just have informal discussions, so please be ready that uh, many topics won't have slides at all, um, and uh, everyone is welcome to participate. So if you actively use Jenkins, if you contribute to particular projects, uh, just uh, uh, unmute yourself and start talking. This particular session is handled in a, a Zoom webinar, but all the next uh, will be handled uh, in Zoom, so there will be less restrictions. Um, so what's our schedule for today? Um, unless uh, there are some last minute proposals for sessions, um, we start with short opening, and then uh, we'll have uh, two sessions in parallel, one for Jenkins documentation without Wiki Jenkins IO, because Wiki Jenkins IO is no longer a thing, we disabled it. Then uh, in parallel, we'll have a discussion about Jenkins and open telemetry. What do we do about having open telemetry plugin and open telemetry for remoting, how we continue the integrations. And uh, second, uh, sort of third talk submitted by Rick is about uh, making Jenkins a part of Kubernetes. It's particularly the focused on the better integrations and on a CubeSphere project. So hopefully Rick will join so that we can uh, discuss it. And then we will have a short uh, lightning talk session. Then we will have a break and uh, uh, later at 10 uh, AM UTC, uh, there will be two hours session uh, focused on the uh, uh, Tecton first class citizen. Uh, so Andre Fritoli from the Tecton community and maybe other contributors will be joining us. The idea there is to brainstorm potential integrations, what would it uh, cost and maybe start uh, uh, drafting the job uh, for that. Then um, at noon UTC, uh, there will be discussion for Jenkins file runners so that everyone can share feedback and we can discuss roadmap. And in parallel, there will be hypermodern uh, pipeline development uh, is Visual Studio Code by Levy. So these particular sessions, we can adjust if needed because I believe Levy wanted to participate in Jenkins file runner uh, session and they completely messed it up. So maybe we will just move it a bit if it makes sense. That would be nice. Okay, then we will definitely adjust. So Jenkins will run up. So let's uh, do it at uh, 1 p.m. and then uh, after party and two or something like that. Okay, so for the next uh, meetings, uh, for the next parts we will be using Zoom. I'll share this link uh, in the Slack channel. So yes, we have Slack channel for this uh, um, contributor summit. Uh, now it becomes more or less permanent one uh, in the CDF Slack. So if you're a member of that, uh, there is Jenkins Contributor Summit channel. I'll share the link later. And yeah, there is a link to a few Zoom sessions. For the discussion, we have a community Jenkins IO, which is basically discourse. Uh, feel free to join and share your feedback here. Um, well, basically any feedback will be appreciated. And also, if you want to start particular discussions, you can just start a new topic here. Okay. 
Is it and, in oh, like that's also where they've registered to vote in the upcoming elections. Uh, yeah, we will talk about that later. Oh, good. Okay, so just quick summary. Everyone can participate. Uh, yeah, submit your questions, comment in the chat. Uh, you still can do lightning talk, uh, and yeah, please be nice because yeah, everyone uh, contributes today. It's Saturday, so most likely everyone joining today joins on their spare time. Uh, Mark uh, joins super late. Uh, is it three a.m. already? No, it's it's only one a.m. Oh, yeah, sounds good. But yeah, thanks a lot for doing that. And yeah, again, CTF Slack. If you want to join, uh, there is a link uh, on Jenkins.io, uh, which describes how to get invitation. And if you are not a member of that, uh, please join because uh, for some uh, items, uh, we'll be just uh, posting uh, links there. Okay. So, uh, before we begin, uh, I would like uh, to ask all hosts of uh, uh, unconference sessions to record the video and then to publish it. And if possible, uh, please organize some meeting notes so that we can share this information with uh, those contributors who cannot participate. Because yeah, today is Saturday, also um, European and uh, Asian time zone, so, so no, well, uh, many people cannot attend. Okay. Let's do a quick state of the union. So it's uh, basically built uh, on collaborations from all officers and board members uh, who had an opportunity to collaborate. Um, and yeah, if something is missing, please feel free to just uh, jump in and uh, discuss uh, the topic. And yeah, the first one, which was already hinted by Mark, is about elections. We will have uh, elections in November and currently there are open applications so everyone is welcome to register and uh, also to submit nominations so we will be electing uh, two board, uh, board members uh, it's my seat and seat of Uli Hafner uh, so there might be new contributors joining instead of us uh, they might be us if we submit uh, if we apply uh, so but yeah, everyone else uh, is uh, welcome to submit their nominations. And as always, we will be electing all five officers. So security, documentation, uh, release uh, uh, events, uh, and uh, am I missing? Infrastructure. Infrastructure, right. And yeah, for example, for events officer, uh, this position is just open because uh, Mark Jackson stepped down uh, last February, and since that I was acting events officer, and yeah, definitely I can dedicate as much time as I would like uh, to this role. So if somebody is interested to take it, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. And well, same for all other roles. Okay, so if you want to participate, uh, this year we use uh, the new process. So basically, you just need uh, to submit uh, to join the election voter group on community drink sayo. And uh, yeah, uh, currently we have 26 registrations. And I'm pretty sure that some people uh, at this meeting hasn't, haven't registered yet. So please do so. Okay. Mm. Oleg's much too polite. I would shame you and say, if you haven't registered, you probably should because your attendance here is already contributing. So yes, con con the definition of contribution is very broad and lots of ways that we contribute by helping each other, by helping others. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, okay, so key dates, October 31st, uh, uh, end of nominations. So by November 7th, we should have candidates published and then there will be three weeks of voting and then December 30 results will be announced and will be effective so uh, the timeline is quite relaxed but again please submit your nominations and your current Jenkins officer or board member and uh, plan to not proceed it would be nice if you reach out to the Jenkins governance board so that uh, we can uh, uh, plan for transition Okay, anything else regarding the elections? No, then 
Okay, role updates. Uh, pro most probably I missed someone, so please uh, add changes. So Basil Kroll has uh, joined as new Jenkins core maintainer. And uh, thanks a lot to Basil for all his contributions uh, over the past years. Um, yeah, it's much appreciated. And yeah, Basil currently works on Guava update and a few big uh, projects in the Jenkins core. So stay tuned for the next releases. Uh, also, I believe that I missed uh, Steven uh, Spilker, who is currently uh, who joined as PR reviewer. Great. Well, uh, so do we want to put my my being given JEP editor status and the JEP improvement process steps that you're oh, you're planning? Is that a is that a reasonable one? Or I'm not sure if that you consider. Yeah, that I a think it's up. reasonable. Welcome aboard. Though I yeah, submitted a proposal that we basically make every officer and board member JEP editor by default. Right, which I think I, I like that proposal as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jenkins mm -hmm. enhancement process, good thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, any other updates we are missing? None that I know of, that, that covers it, I think. Okay. So then uh, let's press it with uh, quick updates for projects and six. Mm, uh, uh, yeah, so maybe a few of these which I didn't uh, put slides for. Um, firstly, we will be officially joining the Inclusive Naming Initiative uh, as Continuous Delivery Foundation. So it's more or less settled. Uh, currently, uh, uh, the blocker is quite hilarious uh, because uh, uh, to apply for membership, I need to provide email in the enrollment form. And uh, yeah, uh, Gmail uh, accounts are not accepted and I do not have any other right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I will figure it out. Uh, but yeah, you never know uh, where you experience surprises. So what will happen? Uh, yeah, Continuous Delivery Foundation will open a join this list. I will be the primary contact uh, as TOC member. And uh, yeah, uh, we will also be listed as a related project on this list. So Kubernetes, IBM, Jenkins as well. Uh, and yeah, everyone uh, is welcome to keep contributing to this topic. Um, there are some uh, plant marketing activities around that. So welcome to another foundation. Okay. Are there any other major updates uh, we're missing? Well, on inclusive naming, for me, there's a reminder that plugin maintainers should be sure they run their tests with Jenkins versions 2.307 and later because inclusive naming actually changes some testing environments. So, so their inclusive naming is, is going to have real impact and we should embrace it and be glad to have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there is a lot of uh, work uh, to happen. And actually, um, if we start following the recommendations of inclusion naming, it will be a lot of work because uh, currently the terminology recommendations evolve. Uh, so for example, where it is, uh, your yeah, website is this. Uh, yeah, so there is a word list uh, which is being formed uh, by multiple contributions. So there is tier one um, and yeah, uh, tier one uh, uh, inputs of award, abortion, mm, then a white list, black list we are working on, master slave we are working on, and but yeah, so mm -hmm. we will abort abortion if we follow these recommendations is something that we haven't discussed yet at all. And also uh, there are other recommendations for tier two, tier three, for example, all military terms uh, needs to be uh, replaced. Uh, some people uh, propose to replace the executor because it's affiliated with executions. 
So we will need to have discussions uh, what we do. Um, but yeah, uh, if we want to align with all the recommendations, it will be a long, long work for us. Okay, anything else? Not that I know of. Yeah, so it was quite silent this summer. Uh, but yeah, mm, we can discuss a few other bits. Okay, Jenkins infrastructure. Uh, do we have anyone who wants to? Yeah, so I can it? talk to that briefly, Oleg. The uh, the yeah, next slide okay. is the one that's that's got the something useful on it. So the mm -hmm. we're working actively on ci.jenkins.io as code. Um, unfortunately, sometimes that means things are disrupted, like at the moment where the Windows can the Windows agents can't find Java. So sometimes we make mistakes, but our Azure controller, Kubernetes agents on AWS. Yes, we've got ARM. Yes, we've got System 390. Yes, we've got PowerPC, and we've got other suppliers coming. So it's it's evolving and developing. Next slide. Yeah. And we're we're actively working to reduce costs. We're proud that this month we changed what was a six or seven hundred dollar a month server into a much much lower cost server. Uh, hosted on Oracle Cloud. Thanks to Oracle for their donation and thanks to uh, Olivier Vernin for doing the work to make the transition. And we know we'll make future configurations to increase our cost savings. That's it for me. Mm -hmm. So what else worth mentioning? Yeah, um, uh, currently um, there is ongoing migration for documentations for Wiki. Uh, I believe Mark will speak about that uh, during the documentation update. And I guess that's it with regard to major infrastructure updates. Yeah, the next slide mm -hmm. shows the, the, the infra meetings that mm -hmm. uh, Aditya Srivastava and others join with us, but it's, mm -hmm. it's just the usual stuff there. Uh, yeah. So we also have uh, some uh, items uh, uh, on the roadmap, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, is our roadmap page up to date? I thought it was, but I, I didn't do a detailed look at the at the roadmap with regard to infrastructure yesterday. You're certainly welcome to check, though. It's under the about menu there, Oleg. Oh, yeah, well, I finally should uh, add the redirect. Uh, so here, what uh, do we have? Um, yeah, yeah so, so continuous one delivery one of Jenkins plugins is in progress. Mm -hmm. CI.jenkins.io as code is, mm -hmm. is very much near term. We're, we're working it. Yeah. So what else? Funding one community breach. Yeah, it's basically a life. Uh, we just need to announce it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there are some other items which are not included. Uh, yeah, it's my fault. So for example, uh, LFX uh, easy CLA adoption is ready to go. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably enable it for in Jenkins file runner uh, this weekend and uh, we can uh, discuss uh, other projects. Um, so yeah, uh, what's other missing, uh, other missing things? Uh, we uh, will be transferring AWS account. And yeah, I guess that's it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, LFX uh, security, but I won't be uh, talking about it today because nothing to talk since June we made no progress. Uh, we are still waiting on uh, the Linux Foundation to proceed. Yes. We should move on because the yeah, infrastructure is kind of fringe topic uh, for right. many of users. Okay, Jenkins platforms. So platforms, uh, the mm -hmm. first topic is that we successfully transitioned to Java 11 as the default in Docker. Java 8 is still available. We also just this week received Java 17 previews available in the Docker images. So if you're mm -hmm. interested in experimenting with Jenkins and Java 17, there's a Docker image that you can use both for the controller and for the inbound and the SSH agents. Note mm -hmm. that it's hotspot only. We're not going to do OpenJ9. We had toyed with OpenJ9 and it's just 
there just aren't enough of us on the project interested in open J9 to, to do that split. Uh, mm -hmm. You go to the next slide, I'll like. In terms of processors, our Docker images are now multi-platform. We now in the same Docker image can support AMD 64, ARM 64 and System 390 mainframes. Eventually, once we get a particular bug fix for QAMU, we'll have PowerPC as well. And we're regularly testing the Debian install packages on all those platforms as well. So not just Docker, but also the Debian installs are confirmed that they work on multi-platform. Mm -hmm. that and that, that's it for platform SIG, I think. Mm -hmm. And for documentation? So documentation has two, two big stories. First is the plugin docs transition to GitHub. 750 plugins have migrated. That means that the plugins that have in, that are installed on over 10% of the Jenkins installed base are already migrated. But we identified additional plugins where maintainers have agreed during Hacktoberfest to, re, to review pull requests. And you can then submit. It's a very easy place to do a nice Hacktoberfest contribution, help us transition this documentation, help the plugin maintainer, everybody wins. The video that's linked there is a video tutorial on how you do that. Next slide. Mm -hmm. And then today we'll be discussing what it means to not have wiki.jenkins.io with Confluence and how we're gonna get the transition there. That, that's really all that I needed to say on docs there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so for advocacy and outreach, I will uh, do a quick update. Um, so yeah, we participated in Google Summer of Code. Again, it was our fifth year. It has been fully completed. We had five projects. Uh, all students uh, passed the evaluation. Uh, and uh, yeah, so projects we completed, uh, Cloud Events plugin for Jenkins. So now Jenkins can uh, submit cloud events um, and uh, later we will be talking how to integrate it with CD events project. Then conventional commits plugin uh, provides uh, uh, version uh, management uh, for Jenkins uh, in pipelines. Uh, we got uh, better credentials by then for Git. Uh, we got uh, Jenkins remote monitoring with basically open telemetry so that you can uh, submit this data to other uh, open telemetry consumers and monitoring systems, for example, for traceability purposes, for logs, for events. Um, and yeah, the results security validator for Jenkins Kubernetes separator, which was created. So I would like to thank all students uh, and uh, yeah, it's great progress as always. Um, and uh, looking forward to the next year. Um, we did a retrospective and hopefully there will be a mentor summit soon, but generally uh, Google Summer of Code is completed. And yeah, uh, another event we have uh, these days is of course Hacktoberfest. So if you're interested to participate, uh, Jenkins IO events Hacktoberfest, everything is published uh, uh, there in terms of the links. Uh, we had a kickoff session uh, uh, one week ago, thanks to Mark, uh, Wadik, uh, Uli and other contributors. And yeah, hopefully we'll have uh, more things happening here and there. Um, so what's not listed other events. So I will just summarize uh, uh, what we had uh, this year. So we had uh, DevOps uh, World, uh, where, they, where we had workshops on uh, for newcomers. So there will be a lot of Jenkins sessions there. Um, then, uh, uh, they will be uh, uh, yeah, coming soon. So there will be a day of uh, Jenkins uh, Japan uh, in December. Jenkins will be represented there. Then there will be a supply and chain uh, summit on October 12th. Again, Jenkins is represented there. And um, the other minor events here and there, but yeah, these are two bigger ones. So if you're interested to participate, uh, please do so. And of course, uh, at FOSDEM 2022, we will also have some agenda. 
Um, we are still waiting for FOSDAM to announce uh, the program for this year, whether it will be in person or remote. Uh, and yeah, depending on that, uh, everything else will be defined. Uh, but yeah, if it's in person, I will, I'm going there, the all your life. Yeah, okay. I sincerely hope it's in person. I want to be there. Mm -hmm. I want real, real life experience face to face again, just looks, looks so, sounds so nice and so wonderful again. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, any other events uh, we are missing? So one thing which may, uh, makes sense to mention, uh, there will be no uh, uh, LFX mentorship uh, programs uh, this whole term, uh, because yeah, basically uh, there was uh, no applications. We tentatively discussed having two documentation projects, uh, but uh, yeah, we haven't heard anything uh, from potential mentors. Mark, uh, I guess it's no longer planned, right? That's correct. Yeah, one of the it's a reminder that one of the challenges we have is getting enough mentors to do these kind of projects. Right now, we just don't have the capacity to run one. I think we could get funding. The problem is not funding; it's mentors. Yeah. Basically, the same for Tikton client. Uh, we had discussions, but we didn't proceed. So, unless something changes, I call it. We are not starting it this year, but yeah, maybe next year. Uh, in February, who knows? So we have some uh, money in our pockets. And we, if somebody uh, wants to participate, please do so. We just need a champion who would uh, uh, get. Okay. And yeah, as you may see, we are skipping many A6 uh, this time because yeah, we don't have all the contributors uh, who are willing to participate, but yeah, and who have opportunity to do so. Uh, but yeah, there are other shifts here and there, of course, for Cloud Native Seek, there is uh, a lot of progress after October 1st, especially for observability space. And we will talk about this uh, at a separate session today. And uh, yeah, for the six, um, we can uh, proceed. So is Rick on the call? He, he is. Uh, he's currently an attendee, hasn't been promoted to panelist yet, but I yeah. definitely see Rick there. Yeah, sorry, uh, I can promote people and talk in parallel. Right. So yeah, I just uh, grant everyone who wants to participate a uh, panelist permission. Maybe Rick would like to do an update for um, uh, Chinese localization seek. Okay, so for Chinese localization seek, one update I can make. So in the Continuous Delivery Foundation, there will be officially Chinese localization seek two. It has been started, it has been approved, and currently there are just uh, uh, logistics questions left. So we are waiting for the Continuous Delivery Foundation to create uh, a mailing list uh, to uh, grant Zoom account so that uh, seek can actually kick off. Uh, we had a quick sync up about that last week, so hopefully it will proceed. Okay. Does anyone else want to share updates? Okay, then uh, let's proceed. And so again, it's a great time to contribute. Yeah, we have October 1st, uh, everyone is welcome. A lot of activities in Jenkins are done uh, via pull requests if you want a t-shirt. And uh, yeah, for example, documentation, design, everything. Uh, um, uh, just submit, uh, just contribute. And uh, we have a lot of featured projects uh, ready. And all these featured projects are actually a part of our roadmap too. So here, if you go here, you can see what we promote, Jenkins website, Jenkins core, plugin site, of course, but we changed a lot, Jenkins file runner, uh, Tikton client plugin Prometheus, uh, terminology cleanup, of course, artwork. Uh, yesterday we got a 
logo submitted by uh, Duchess uh, uh, community from France. Uh, so where it is? It should should have been merged, right? It 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 has been merged, and yet I don't see it. I'm gonna have to go look, Oleg, because that uh, yeah, that maybe, new image is is delightful. I believe that uh, we have issues with some promotion, but yeah, at some point uh, we had a discussion about having a She Jenkins logo. So yeah, this is the first one, and yeah, everyone uh, is uh, welcome to submit more. Okay, let's game. So it's not just about code. You can create logo and also get a pull, uh, uh, get um, a pull request towards Hacktober first. Why not? Okay. So yeah, back to this summit. Uh, so in 25 minutes, we will start a session for Jenkins documentation, uh, Jenkins and open telemetry, and uh, Jenkins be a part of Kubernetes. These sessions will happen uh, in uh, Zoom, not in Zoom webinar. So there will be no problems with granting permissions, etc. And yeah, you can uh, find a link here. So basically, let's uh, join maybe uh, 10 minutes before the session start. Um, and yeah, there um, I will uh, create rooms so that everyone can start uh, their own discussion. And as discussed, uh, there will be some changes. So I will push uh, Jenkins file runner uh, a bit later uh, so that we uh, can participate in parallel. Uh, does it impact anyone? That sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, then deal. So, so Oleg, the when the when the zoom meeting starts the webinar absolutely will end so people need to grab that link now while they've yes. while they've still got the webinar running uh yeah i will uh, update uh, the link um, on the meetup page and uh, yeah uh, please join it so do you mind dropping that link in chat right now yeah Okay, so again, uh, today is quite a, a relaxed summit, but hopefully we'll have a nice chats on technical topics. And yeah, if you want to propose something, uh, so for live demos, we still have some bandwidth and yeah, we can dynamically update. Or maybe going forward, we won't even schedule such big contributor summit events and just uh, opt out to scheduling several sessions uh, uh, I mean, for example, we want to talk about Picton and Jenkins, so we schedule a session after creating Doodle, so that uh, we'll have more working group like meetings. Okay. Any comments, questions before we close down? If Look. not. See okay. everybody in the Zoom sessions, in the, yeah, in, so, the, in the shared sessions. Yeah, so 15 minute break. And again, I ask uh, all session hosts to do the recording locally. Uh, then you can share the link, for example, via Google Drive. Um, and uh, we will uh, republish it uh, on Jenkins YouTube channel and the bonus points for meeting notes. Okay, thanks all. Thanks. Thanks.